place like Nebraska, where they're all true blue, and we'll all stick together in all kinds of weather for dear old Nebraska, you. Founded in 1879, the band numbered 12 and was known as the University of Nebraska Military Cadet Band. Musicians played standing in formation as cadets marched. There were no pregame or halftime shows since Nebraska didn't have a football team. A decade later in 1890, a young Roscoe Pound rallied students to help persuade the university to fund a football program. A band member, Pound later became Dean of the Nebraska Law College and Dean of the Harvard Law School. In 1891, Lieutenant John J. Pershing joined the university as military commander. The lieutenant required musicians to march as well as play. A sports fan, Pershing thought the band and the cadets should perform at a football game. The first Nebraska halftime show was performed in 1893. By the early 1900s, the band played at all home games. Years later, General John J. Pershing was appointed Chief of Staff of the United States Army. By 1937, the band had grown to 162 members. Although still affiliated with the military, the band was led by Don Lentz, the Cornhuskers' first non-military director. Lentz discarded military grays for flashy red and white uniforms. Nebraska was one of the first college bands to present shows with entertaining music and marching that featured intricate designs. 1940 marked a major turning point for the University of Nebraska football and band programs. Nebraska and Stanford were scheduled to play in the Rose Bowl. After 50 years of football, this was Nebraska's first bowl game. A lot of those have a lot of memories. Well, I have the meal ticket that I carried on the Rose Bowl trip, right over here. And I don't know why I didn't eat all the meals, but <laughs> supper, 60 cents, December 30th, 1940. Russ Swanson of Omaha played in the 1940 Nebraska Marching Band. Over here I have uh, the sweater that I earned in the Rose Bowl Band. Size 38, which doesn't quite fit today, but uh, I really en enjoyed that. It was this Rose Bowl band, and uh, very proud of it. I do have a few uh, caps around here. I save newspapers. I have since 1970. He saves everything. Russ's Big Red Room is a personal tribute to his alma mater. We figured out we, uh, we attended 192 of those. The Swansons have been to every home game but one in 35 years. I think the band made me a fan of the football team. Oh man, we were excited. A lot of us had never really uh, been out of the state. And uh, to think that uh, we were gonna ride a train and go to California, it was the middle of the winter, and uh, it was just great. We had a piano in the parlor car, and there was music going all the time, and uh, everybody was having a good time. Everyone was having a good time, but music director Don Lentz. A national music contract dispute barred Nebraska from playing their fight song during the Rose Bowl Parade radio broadcast. How could Nebraska march in a parade without playing There Is No Place Like Nebraska? The band needed another fight song, and fast. On the train ride to Los Angeles, Lentz and a few band members wrote a new Nebraska song. They borrowed the music from a public domain operetta, The Vagabond King. Sons of toil and danger, will you serve a stranger and bow down to Burgundy? Sons of the lyrics from The Song of the Vagabonds would be replaced with the band song. At the time, no one knew they were creating a lasting tradition. Behind a 
group of horses in a parade. <laughs> But we were right at the front of the parade, and it, it, it was just something else. I, I've never seen so many people along such a long route. But right in front of the main reviewing stand, we broke out, and there is no place like Nebraska. And one of the regents raced over to the band director, Don Lentz, and said, Don, we weren't supposed to play that music, were we? And Don's answer was, we didn't do it intentionally, <laughs> and we got by with it. And Nebraska had never been to a bowl game before. We kind of set a precedent of the band going, and uh, the band has followed the, the, the team to every bowl since.